Alrighty guys, we're working on the Sportsman 600. This is a 2004, well, 2004 and a half um, split year. Had an issue with the oil pressure relief guys being stuck. Very common on player Sportsman's, Razors, Rangers. Um, they've, they've had, a, like I said, they have an updated kit to fix this, but a lot of the problem is getting that stuck relief valve plunger out of the engine without pulling the side cover. Now I have Spark here, he, he came up with a little solution that, that did work for us. Not great, but it got it out yeah. without having to drill it um, or remove anything ex, you know, internally. So yeah. why don't you go ahead and show them. That's the chunk. That's your plunger, oil pressure relief See, it's valve. it's kind of discolored. Um, so I did try a magnet. Which is right here. Yeah. We bent it at a 90. That and magnet and is almost the exact size as that pintle, and it's... I mean, it's pretty It's pretty strong. It takes quite a bit of force to pull it off. Um, but I could not get it out. I tried and I tried. I soaked it with some lube, maybe hoping. Nothing. Couldn't get it out. So we're like, okay, we got to tear it apart. Yep. But I thought, what if I can JB weld something to the end of this thing? Because mm -hmm. you can't get a strong enough magnet or anything in there because the hole is only... I mean that diameter, this diameter. So we uh, I cleaned the end of that up, dipped it in there, and let it sit while we went to town and did some. About two some and a half errands. hours. Two and a half hours. Yep, yep. And uh, I couldn't quite tug, so I turned and I could feel it turn, and then I pulled harder and it came off. Well, before I could mix up some JB Weld, Mike went in there with the magnet and boom, got it out. Out it came. So. Uh, might not work all the time, but but it's worth a shot, guys. It, 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 it beats uh, it beats taking the taking the motor apart. Right, and, and don't go excessive on the JB Weld, guys. We went no. just a skosh on the end of that yeah. Allen key. I actually wrapped some tape. What the hell is this? A six millimeter, I think. But I wrapped some tape so it kind of didn't have a tendency to touch the sides or anything, and it kind of pile it down right on top into the into the hole, sit on top. Then I actually just radiator hose right in front of this one, and it kind of helped put some down pressure on it. So exactly. Yeah. Guys are saying you can start the engine up and hopefully have it shoot out. Well, what happened with ours guys, and it's what com commonly happens is when the oil pressure is too high, the hydraulic lifters will, will hydrolock themselves basically and hold the valves open so it has like no compression and they don't run. It'll start kind of stumble. Other times it just cranks over like the spark plugs are out. That's a symptom of a high oil pressure hydraulic lifter issue. So we're hoping, um, here's our updated pressure relief valve setup. There's a company that makes them that's very expensive. This is the eBay special. It says made in the USA. I can definitely tell it's brass. Um, actually looks quality. But that rod actually extends all the way into the end cap. So if it ever would gall up, you can grab onto it with the pliers. You know what I mean? It's not going to get seized anymore. No. So this is the fix you want to want to go with if you have a Polaris Sportsman, Ranger, Razor, 800, 600, 700. Um, the 500s doesn't seem like they had many problems with that, but all those other models that I listed off, if you don't already have issues, it's not if, it's when. Right. Yeah. Um, so just keep that in mind. Quick little fix. Like I said, I'm not guaranteeing anything, but it's, it it's cheap. You know, you can get a thing of JB Weld, just a skosh on the end of an Allen key, let it sit in there. Hopefully you can either spin it or, or, you know, pry on it a little bit just to get it to move. You can also try, we also tried soaking it with penetrating oil. Um, like I said, we tried starting it. it. Ours didn't run really, so it couldn't really shoot much out. Break clean it off before you JB weld it as well. Yep, break clean and compressed air. So you don't have uh, JB weld trying to sit oil. But that is a little tech tip from us at Bear Creek Boys here. Um, hopefully it'll help somebody out there.